Arlington workers, the, the, the uh, woman who was apparently roughed up by Donald Trump's goons when they stomped over into Section 60 to do their photo op, which is completely illegal. This, was a crime. this is actually a federal crime that Donald Trump and his people committed. Well, she says now that she is not going to press charges, even though what he did was a crime, and, he has, and they assaulted her. She's not going to press charges because she is afraid of his followers. Now, you know, for example, Judge Mershon. Judge Mershon simply happened to be the judge in the Trump case. But Jim Jordan is subpoenaing Judge Mershon's daughter. She's president of a, of a company that does consulting work for Democrats. And she, she, her company now has been, has been subpoenaed by Jim Jordan. They've got to go through, they've got to hire a lawyer, they've got to produce all these documents, or they can be held in contempt of Congress and she can go to jail. This is what this, this person in, uh, who works at Arlington is afraid of. She's afraid not just of the goons who are going to, you know, like with Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman, who are going to you know, show up at your house and threaten you with automatic weapons. She's also afraid of members of Congress like Jim Jordan, who are just big bullies, who are using their position of power corruptly to intimidate people. I mean, this is, this is what fascism looks like. Fascism is based on intimidation. It's based on bullying. It's based on violence. And now we learn that Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, was the guy who got Donald Trump permission to go into Arlington. Although when he did get them the permission, the permission said explicitly, you may not take cameras into Section 60, you may not do campaign events, you may not, you know, and he did it anyway. I mean, this scandal is just getting worse and worse. And then J.D. Vance goes out and says, well, if they're going to complain about this, Kamala Harris can go to hell. Really? You're talking about a stunt in a cemetery and you're going to talk about heaven and hell, you know, around all these dead soldiers? This is, a, this is just obscene. I mean, it's just, just obscene. And the media, I mean, you know, they're, 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 they're finally starting to deal with this. But yesterday, Donald Trump on his, on his uh, you know, failing social media site posted this thing about it. Funny how BJs have impacted both their careers differently with pictures of Hillary Clinton and Kamala Harris, suggesting that they, they're, they're performing sex acts in exchange for political power. I mean, this is disgusting. And yet none of the corporate media, I mean, the New York Times had a little story about it, but beyond that, none of the corporate media are even talking about this. This, this obscenity that Donald Trump is promoting on his website.